Hello you guys, so today I am going to show you guys my mommy makeover and this is not the surgical kind, it's the self care kind because if you've had a kid, you know how easy it is to just fall into motherhood and stop taking care of yourself completely. So this is me kind of documenting my journey over the last six or seven months after I had my second kid, getting back to myself, getting back into the habit of doing the things that I always have loved doing and things that fill my cup and self-care for me. First, I am starting by taking off my makeup and washing my face. I'm just gonna put on like a simple moisturizer because I'm gonna go to the tanning beds. Now I mainly go to the tanning bed not actually for a tanning bed. <laughs> I go for this red light therapy stand up and red light therapy is supposed to help with like overall skin health, stretch marks, any kind of scars, really acne, cellulite, stuff like that. And it actually is also supposed to help with muscle recovery. So if you're like big into working out, then there you go. It's a 12 minute stand up and I love it. I love it so much. I have seen the biggest difference in my cellulite and in my stretch marks. It's actually crazy. I've only been doing it for about a month and my stretch marks are so, so minimal. It, it's really crazy to me. And I don't, there's like lotions and stuff that you can buy, but I just go in there with a regular body lotion on and it works perfectly fine. And just because I have a vacation coming up for the entire month of July, basically, I'm going back to Texas where me and my husband are from to see family. I decided that I wanted to do the tanning beds just to get a little bit of a color to my skin because we're gonna be going to the beach and the zoo and water parks and all that stuff. And even though I will still wear sunscreen, if I didn't have kind of like a tan already going, I would probably get sunburned. So. I just do a lay down bed for like eight minutes, nothing super intense, but just to get a little bit of color on me and it feels really good and it really gives you like a boost of dopamine for sure. And then I head back home cause I'm gonna work out. I mean, I would head back home anyway, but I have also been working out. I've been working out really, really consistently for the last probably two, two and a half months. And I walk every single day on this treadmill, getting a treadmill. I don't wanna say it changed my life, but it kind of did. It sounds a little bit dramatic, but it kind of changed my life because now I don't have to worry about actually leaving my house to go to the gym. That's like 90% of the struggle when you are a mom is actually getting out of your house. So I just scavenged Facebook Marketplace for treadmills, for used treadmills, that still work just fine and eventually I found one. I have been doing the 12 330 for about those two and a half months every single day. I've probably missed a few days here and there but I try my absolute hardest to go and walk every single day. It is so hard to get started but I promise after like a week or two you feel so good. You like look forward to walking. It's crazy. <laughs> Whew, okay. That last five minutes, I had to take the incline down. But when I feel like I have to do that, I just up the speed. So I put the incline down to six, but then I up my speed to 3.8, which is like super speed walking right before a run for the last five minutes. And I was listening to Lady Gaga, The Cure, and that really pumps me up for some reason. So. I'm gonna drink a bunch of water and we're gonna go do just some combo exercises. Um, I usually do full body because I'm not like, I'm not strong enough to like just hit legs. Like to the point where, I don't know, if you've like been somebody who worked out and was in very good shape before and then you like fell off because you had kids like me and you're trying to get back into it, I cannot like do just legs and get like a, the full workout feel because my legs are so weak, it takes like three exercises. So I do like three for the legs, three for the arms, I do a full body thing. That way I feel like it's just more impactful. But once I am stronger, I'll be able to separate my days and go harder on like one part of my body. So let's go. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just threw a bunch of toys over there that we're over here to make room for myself to work out because I just always work out in the playroom. So yeah, you know, mom life at its finest. We're just gonna 
get that right off camera for you guys. Now, I'm just showing you guys what I do. This is one of the workout sets that I do. I kind of have a couple different routines that I'll just mix up, you know, based on how I'm feeling. But I'm not a professional, so don't surely do not take advice from me or like necessarily even copy what I do. And I do it every other day. So I walk every single day, 95% of the time. And then every other day, I will also do this kind of workout where I'm like kind of lifting, kind of doing body weight exercises, whatever, just trying to get stronger. At first it sucks, but give it like two weeks and you literally will start looking forward to it. I hate it so much. I hate when people tell me that, but it's honestly the truth. You start feeling so much better and you really, really look forward to it. And you'd be surprised how strong you get at Six weeks ago, I started with two pound dumbbells and now I'm up to like eight pound dumbbells and a 15 pound kettlebell. And I honestly need to up my kettlebell, my kettlebell weight as well pretty soon here because it's starting to feel a little bit like not challenging enough. And it's, it feels really good to get stronger. And on that note also, I if you are looking to get back into working out and like me, if you have baby weight to lose, Please, please, please keep in mind that in the beginning, you need to stick to off-scale goals. I know it looks and feels really good to lose weight on the scale, but for these 10 weeks that I've been working out extremely consistently, extremely hard, working out every, walking every single day and lifting every other day, I have not seen a single pound change on the scale. But what I have seen is my skin looks better. I feel so much better. My clothes fits better. I genuinely look like I've lost weight. I've actually gotten compliments from people and comments from my friends saying that I look like I'm losing weight, but I actually haven't. So you will start looking and feeling better before you lose weight on the scale. And I just want you to know that going in, I don't want anyone to be like disappointed because that that's what I would feel. Like I feel disappointed kind of that I haven't actually lost weight, but I look better and I feel better and those are really good successes as well. So after I'm done working out, I'm of course going to take a nice shower, scrub everything down, whatever, and I'm gonna throw on some sheet masks and like eye, eye masks and paint my nails, which I rarely ever, ever do. I just, I don't ever make the time to go get them done and I barely make the time to even do them myself, but today I am and I'm committing to this. Probably not every single week, but maybe every other week, I think I could probably commit to painting my own nails. It doesn't seem like a big deal probably to some of you guys, but it's just not high on my priority list and I do not make the time for this, but I'm making the time today and I will say it feels really good to have at least my toenails painted. It kind of irritates me on my fingernails. I don't know what my deal is, but I just feel like I can feel the nail polish on my nails and it really bothers me. I hate the feeling of literally anything on my nails or anything on my hands really. So I just, I don't know, I'll probably get used to it. And right here, I'm just showing the difference between the nail veil and just a clear coat, just so y'all can see. Cause I don't even have, I don't even own like true nail polishes. I own these pure nail veils, which they're, they are very beautiful, um, but they're just kind of like a sheer top coat almost for your nails to give them a nice natural color and a shine and I do really like them. And then I'm going to do my red light therapy on my face even though I did the full body red light therapy which also does my face. I have this fun little tool and I probably remember to use this about three times a week even though I don't know why because I can literally just do it while I'm sitting watching TV or like laying in bed. So I just need to leave it out somewhere where I see it more and then I think I'll remember to do it every single day. Again, red light therapy is just really good for your skin health health overall, really good for acne prone skin and really good for acne scars. And then after that, I'm going to put on some fake tan and I have been doing this weekly. Today I'm using the Isle of Paradise tan and the first time I was like, I don't know, maybe I don't like it because I didn't use it correctly, whatever. But this is the second time I'm using it and I do not like it, you guys. I forever go back to the B tan, foaming tan. It's the best one. I really just 
don't ever like anything else. Like the color's bad, it wears off. I just can't. So I faked hand and then I wanted to show you guys some of the new clothes that I've been getting for myself. These shirts are from Old Navy and I get them in a tall. So they're really long, that's what I like. And then I also have the Old Navy tights and biker shorts. And then I've been getting these cloth, I don't know, cotton shorts also and just in cute colors so they actually look cute and then I found these super cute sneakers at Walmart and I thought with this specific combo of like the old navy shirt and the shorts it was so cute I have those old navy shirts in like five or six different colors because that's like that's the kind of person I am when I find one thing I like I just get it in a bunch of colors that I like um same with the tights and those cotton shorts so that's really what I've been wearing a lot of these days and another thing is doing my makeup now this is probably the first thing I started doing again after I had my baby because it's my thing you know I have a whole YouTube channel about it but of course it's included if you used to do your makeup a lot and you stopped after having kids even if you're a stay-at-home mom like me I'm a stay-at-home mom I do my makeup anyway because it's just nice to have me time and to feel good and to take selfies and make TikToks and make YouTube videos and it really is for me you know and I love it I love having this for myself and feeling good at the end of the day and feeling pretty and walking by a mirror and not looking like a troll even though I don't have to get ready and I also got this halter top from Old Navy and I can't even believe I'm wearing that because I'm like honestly so self-conscious about my arms still but just gotta fake it till you make it okay like Rihanna says, you know, just pretend. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. So that is the end of the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to check out all my new videos I post every single week. And my other YouTube channel, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be linked down below as well. So you can follow me everywhere if you want to. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.